this is Mrs. Arbucci, Paradise Canyon, fourth grade. Thanks so much for watching. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve division problems using the partial quotients strategy. If you haven't watched the video that I made about division using the partitioning a rectangle strategy, I suggest you do so because that's going to give you somewhat of a foundation for what I'm going to do in this video. So know that this strategy is just a simpler way of writing out the process of the partitioning a rectangle strategy. Again, if you watch that video, um, the second example that I used or the second problem that I solved for is going to be the same exact problem that I'm about to do now. And that problem was 72 divided by four. This time I'm going to write it like this. And this looks like I'm going to solve this problem using the standard division algorithm. But please put your knowledge of that aside because this is going to look and feel different. So I'm solving for 72 divided by four. I'm going to draw a line here because I want to separate um, the quotients, the partial quotients that I solve for, and I want to have them organized to the right of the line that I just drew. So I want to think about the dividend, which is 72. And I'm going to think about numbers that are easier to work with. Um, the first one that comes to mind is 10. So what I'm going to think about is, are there at least 10 fours in the number 72? My answer is yes. Knowing this, I'm going to move on. The number 20 is also an easy number to work with. So before I write anything down, I'm going to think about this. Are there at least 20 fours in the number 72? This time my answer is no. 20 fours is too much. That gives me 80, which is larger than my dividend, and you cannot go further than your dividend. So I'm going to go back to 10. I already answered my question. Yes, there are at least 10 fours in the number 72. So I'm going to write my first quotient of 10 to the right of the line. Now I'm going to multiply that quotient by the divisor, which is 4. 10 times 4, or 4 times 10, is 40. And I write that underneath the 72. Now I'm going to subtract 40 from 72 and see what I have left. 72 minus 40 is 32. Next I want to think. The next easiest number to work with for me is 5. So I'm going to think to myself, are there at least five fours in the number 32? Yes, there are. So I'm going to write my next quotient of five here. I'm going to multiply that five by my divisor. Five times four gives me 20. And I write it underneath the 32. I subtract again and see what I have left to work with. 32 minus 20 is 12. Now I have my division facts memorized and I know that 12 divided by 4 is 3. And another way to think about it is 4 times 3 equals 12. So 3 is the last quotient that I'm working with. 3 times 4 is 12. I subtract. And when I get to zero, I know that I'm done. So now I have three partial quotients. And in order to find the total or the overall quotient, I need to add them together. 10 plus 5 plus 3 is 18. So I write 18 here. And my problem is done. 72 divided by 4 gives me a quotient of 18. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with the partial quotients strategy in solving division problems. 
And this time on my new screen, I'm gonna show you how to solve a three-digit dividend by a one-digit divisor. And that problem is gonna be 112 divided by four. So I'm gonna write my 112 divided by four here. And I don't wanna forget that line that's gonna keep me organized and um, keep my partial quotients separated from the work that I do on the left-hand side. So first I'm going to think, are there at least 10 fours in the number 112? Yes, there are definitely at least 10 fours in the number 112. So then I'm gonna to skip to the next easiest number that I like to work with, which is 20. And I'm gonna to think to myself, are there at least 20 fours in the number 112? The answer is yes. So I'm going to write my first partial quotient over here, and that is 20. 20 fours is 80. And I write my 80 underneath my 112. I'm gonna subtract 80 from 112, and that's gonna give me the number that I still have to work with. 112 minus 80 will give me 32. Again, I have my division facts memorized, and I know automatically that four times eight equals 32. Another way to think about it is eight times four is 32, or 32 divided by four is eight. But my next partial quotient is eight. I write that over here on the right-hand side of my line. I'm going to multiply the eight times four. That gives me 32, and I write it underneath the other 32. 32 minus 32 is zero, and that zero tells me that I'm done finding the partial quotients. Now, I need to take my partial quotients, add them together to get the overall quotient. 20 plus eight gives me 28. Oops. And I write the quotient up top. 112 divided by four equals 28. Continuing on, I just wanna show you that using this, or I'm sorry, working with the same problem, 112 divided by four, there's not just one way to solve this problem using partial quotients. So I'm gonna do the same exact problem, but I'm gonna divide it separate ways or different ways. I'm gonna to go to a new screen. I'm gonna write the same problem, 112, divided by four. And I'm gonna draw my line to keep me organized, keep my numbers separated so I don't get confused. So this time, I'm gonna stick with the easiest number that I know that I like to work with, which is 10. I know that there are at least 10 fours in the number 112. So I'm gonna write my 10 here. That's my first partial quotient. I multiply that 10 by the divisor, which is four, and I get 40. I write it underneath 112, I subtract, and I get 72. I know that there are at least 10 fours in the number 72 as well. So I'm gonna do another partial quotient of 10. Again, 10 times four is 40, I write that underneath. I subtract and I get 32. Now, after 10, the easiest, you know, if I'm going smaller, the next easiest number that I like to work with is five. I know that there are at least five fours in the number 32. So I'm gonna write my five here. I multiply that five times my divisor of four, and that's gonna give me 20. I write it underneath the 32. I subtract it. 32 minus 20 gives me 12. I know that there's not another five fours in the number 12 because that would give me too much. I don't have 20 to work with. I only have 12 left. But I know that four times three is going to give me exactly that. So I write my three here. That's my last quotient that I've found. I multiply the three times the divisor of four 
that gives me 12. I subtract 12 minus 12, and I get zero, so I know that I'm finished finding all of the partial quotients. Now I need to find the total of all of my partial quotients. So I add 10, 10, 5, and 3 gives me 28. Same answer or same quotient as before. I write it up top. Oh, sorry about that. 112 divided by 4 equals 28. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.